Today we're going to be taking a look at a scene from Midsummer to see how Ari Aster directs a scene and uses blocking, camera movement, and lighting to tell a story. The scene we're going to take a peek at is an argument between Danny and Christian that takes place early in the film. You okay? Right away we notice a few things. Both characters are similarly lit without a strong key light. Danny takes up more space and dominates the frame and we only see Christian in the reflection of the mirror found in the left third. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was just really weird. What was? The Sweden. I had no idea. Well, what do you mean? Because I told you I wanted to go. As Danny decides to stand up for herself and point out Christian's wrongdoing, she takes a forward step and is illuminated with light. This movement is paired with a slight movement from Christian, which takes him out of the light and into darkness. Danny is visually shown to be in the right here, while Christian is visually shown to be in the wrong. I just decided today. I wasn't keeping it from you. You already have a ticket. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, the camera pans as Danny walks to Christian. To Together they share the frame, the yet Danny stands tall and looks down towards Christian, who is sitting. With this blocking and composition, Danny is the dominant individual on screen and holds the power. Oh, we're going to China for three months and we're leaving two weeks. It's Sweden. As Christian puts his foot down and the manipulation begins, he stands over Danny as the power in the argument evens out. Christian then begins to pout and gaslight Danny. No, oh, you said it would be cool to go. Yeah, and then I got the opportunity and I decided Look, to do it. I don't mind it. you going. I just wish you would have told me. That's all. Well, I just apologize, Danny. You didn't apologize. You said sorry, which sounds more like too bad. Maybe I should just go home. What? No, no. I'm just trying to understand. And I'm trying to apologize. And I don't need an apology. I don't. I just wanted to talk about it. That's all. He threatens to leave, and when this happens, Christian and Danny change positions completely. I really think I should just leave. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. I'm not, I'm not trying to attack you. It I'm not. It really feels like you are. Well the right side of the frame up until this point was occupied by Danny and is now occupied by Christian who is manipulating Danny and holding the power. This is where the argument turns into Christian's favor as he reverses the blame to Danny. Well then, I, well then I'm sorry. I'm so, I just got confused. I'm sorry. I, hey, please, come on. Can you come? Just can you stop. Come and sit with me? Danny walks away and invites Christian into her space as she sits down. Really weird, okay? But it, I'm the shot can interestingly be compared to the opening shot of the scene. We see the character who holds the power standing as the powerless character sits down on the hot seat. Fine, I think it's great that you're going to Sweden. I do. I think it's amazing. Are Christian moves about and owns the frame, moving from right to left. The scene ends with a cut, and we see Danny talking to Christian. He looks at the door, pondering whether or not he should leave. This scene is so interesting because it is primarily one shot, yet there is so much intentional visual detail that accompanies the action and dialogue in the story. This is a scene that could be completely silent, yet the camera movement and blocking would allow the audience to still know what is going on. Ari Aster continues to impress. He legitimately is one of the best filmmakers out there making films right now, and I really can't wait to see what he does next. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. On this channel, I upload my films and I talk about movies and filmmaking. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to subscribe below. Have a nice day.